What's up, my 12 favorite subscribers and everyone else on YouTube? It's Gen Z Collector here, and today we're going to be opening up some first edition Force of the Breaker. Now, I'm super excited about this opening for two reasons. One, this volcano shark looking dude, he's pretty badass. And two, this set is super nostalgic for me because Strike of Neos was the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh set that I opened, and this set came out right after Strike of Neos. So, in a way, these packs are basically a relic from when I first started Yu-Gi-Oh. So with that said, let's get into the opening. First pack. Now, some really cool cards in these packs are obviously the... Volcanic Doomfire, the big Volcano Shark, that'd be really epic to pull. And then there's also some Crystal Beast cards. We got the Emerald Tortoise as our first common, actually. Uh, there's also the Sapphire Pegasus, the Cobalt Eagle, huh, Gem Flash Energy. So just a bunch of Crystal Beast cards, right as I mentioned Crystal Beasts. Harpy Queen, that's a cool card. 1900 beater, so I think it wasn't bad at the time when you were just playing with the kids on the playground. So, ton of Crystal Beasts in our first pack. Maybe that's a sign that we can pull the ultimate rare Sapphire Pegasus. That'd be really cool. Sapphire Pegasus is another super cool card from this set, and... The artwork on that card is really beautiful, actually. Huh. So these first three cards were the exact same first three cards as the last pack. That's kind of weird. And our rare is Destroyer Saurus. Backs to the wall. A cell breeding device. Volcanic Hammer, and Terrible Deal. Huh. If we keep getting pulls like these on our packs, uh, eh, that would make them a terrible deal. So hopefully that last card wasn't a sign about the pulls we're going to get. Yeah, another really cool card that we could pull from these packs would be the... Volcanic Rocket. I think at the time that this pack was released, Volcanic Rocket was a really good card to pull. And our first Hollow, Ryza the Storm Monarch, as a super rare. No ultimate rare, unfortunately. But yeah, I remember Ryza was really good back in the day. So that's a pretty cool Hollow, regardless. Super rare, Ryza the Storm Monarch. Let me sleeve that real quick, and then we'll go on with the rest of our cards. Introduction to the Gallantry, Seismic Crasher, Field Barrier, and Crystal Regeki. So that's a cool super to start it off with. Ryza was pretty broken back in the day, I think. Uh, I remember one of my friends, he tried to make a Monarch deck, and Ryza was one of the Monarchs that he was really trying to find. And, you know, as kids, you're not really buying cards online, so it's hard to find cards because you're just trading around with the other kids around you. And Volcanic Shell is our rare. I think back in the day, uh, you actually used to run like three Volcanic Shells Way back in the Volcanic deck. Not sure if Volcanics were any good though, because I was a kid at the time, and kids don't always have the best read on the meta. I say that, but honestly, I don't know the meta <laughs> even, uh, even as an adult, so who knows. And Volcanic Doomfire! Ultra rare! Wow, that is really sick. Wow. We we asked for the the big volcano shark and he appeared. Wow. Ultra rare, so not 
the ultimate rare volcanic doom fire unfortunately but still a really badass like looking card i remember as a kid i always thought this card just looked so yeah just so badass <laughs> i don't have another word for it so yeah it's really cool like pulling my first ever volcanic doom fire definitely a great add to my collection he looks a bit like off center from top to bottom and side to side so probably won't be able to grade him but still that's a really cool card for like my binder collection super happy about that pull actually another breakthrough magna slash dragon blaze accelerator mass hypnosis and volcanic slicer huh maybe with all these volcanics that we're pulling maybe we could uh make a volcanic deck is there any format that volcanics are still good in uh you can't play it in goat and there's no way volcanics are playable in like modern Yu-Gi-Oh either so probably and there's probably not like any formats maybe someone should make some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh GX format that'd be kind of cool I bet volcanics would be good in that format wildfire last resort it's like I guess a vacation home on the moon like an armchair on the moon and Gogi Go, the Gallant Ninja, Crystal Promise, Volcanic Scattershot, and Crystal Raigeki. All right, next pack. Okay, we got a Mass Hypnosis, Maiku the Master of Barriers, Crystal Blessing, Hard Selling Goblin, and a Warrior of Atlantis. Secrets of the Gallant, Volcanic Blaster, Tornado, and Introduction to the Gallantry. If we could pull one of the hollow like crystal beasts, uh, especially like a sapphire pegasus though, that'd be really sick. We got some, we got, I'd say probably the best monarch. We got one of the really cool volcanic cards, the big volcanic boss monster, Archfiend General. Oh, hey, I think that's our first carbuncle. But yeah, we got the big boss monster of the volcanics so a hollow crystal beast card would be really cool to see i'd also really like to pull at least one ultimate from these packs i know maybe i'm being a bit greedy with our volcanic doom fire pull but there are 16 packs so i think we have a good chance at an ulti uh, Warrior of Atlantis, terrible deal. Uh, I don't know if this card's like a bad omen or not. Hopefully not. Hopefully this next pack we pull some more fire. Of course these volcanics are a pretty like <laughs> fire-based theme. So mm, maybe we'll pull some more Maybe we'll just literally pull some more, like, fire with those volcanic cards, you know? Wild fire! Ooh, maybe that's a sign. This pack's gonna be fire, guys. Amber Mammoth, Crystal Abundance, and Gogi, the Gallant Ninja. Alright, this pack was not fire, but maybe that's a sign for the next pack. Let's... Put our faith in the heart of the cards for this pack. Ultimate rare. Come on. All right. This time, let's try to destiny draw it. So we'll move these four. 
And heart of the cards, destiny draw. All right, so not an ulti, but a super rare, I guess. I guess I'll take it. Sky Scourge Invisil, Dweller in the Depths, Otherworld, the A Zone, Volcanic Recharge, another Carbuncle, Crystal Blessing, Hard Selling Goblin, Gravy Crush Dragon, and Wild Fire. So we got a lot of Wild Fire commons, but we're not pulling the crazy fire yet. So maybe the big fire is still, it's still coming. We got four packs left. Hopefully we pull a really nice ulti from one of these four. Crystal Abundance, Hard Selling Goblin, Emerald Tortoise, Crystal Beacon, and Topaz Tiger as a rare. All right, at least we're getting a bit closer to getting all seven Crystal Beasts, I guess. I think we've seen every Crystal Beast except Sapphire Pegasus. And Sapphire Pegasus, of course, is the ultra rare or ultimate rare in this set, I believe. So it's probably going to be a bit harder to pull than all the other crystal beasts. But we still might see it. Amber Mammoth, Crystal Abundance. Maybe this is a sign for the Sapphire Pegasus, Crystal Beast, Emerald Tortoise, and ultimate rare Sky Scourge. Nor... Noralysis? Cool. And I uh, didn't really know much about, like, this card. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to say the name either, but an ultimate rare. We asked for an ultimate rare, and we got one from the pool. To be honest, I was, like, really excited because I saw the gold, like, lettering, and I saw it was an effect monster, so I thought maybe it was, like, the Sapphire Pegasus or something. That'd be a really sick, like, pull, but cool. Ultimate rare from the third to the last pack. Not bad. All right, if we can pull a Sapphire Pegasus, I'll be really happy with the this pack openings. We'd, pull, we'd have pulled a Monarch, the Volcanic Doomfire boss monster, an ultimate rare. I'd be, uh, that'd be some pretty sick like pulls. Oh, it looks like it's a hollow. I totally spoiled it. It's a monster. I don't know if it's the Sapphire Pegasus. We'll have to see. Uh, breakthrough and Elemental Hero, Captain Gold. Ah, oh, darn. Okay. So not the Sapphire Pegasus, but still. Ultra Rare, Elemental Hero, Captain Gold. Pretty sick card. Searches a skyscraper for you. Pretty cool. And last pack. Come on, heart of the cards. All right, I opened this pack like really badly. Oops. Uh, yeah. This pack. Uh, don't uh, <laughs> don't look at how that pack was opened. Okay. Last pack. Heart of the cards. Let's do the card trick. Heart of the cards. Last pack. Come on. Give us something fire. And heart of the cards. Tri Blaze Accelerator. Super rare. I think this is another card that was like playable in Volcanics. I'm not a hundred percent sure to be honest. But yeah, it's not the Sapphire Pegasus we were hoping for, but I'll take a super in the last pack. That's not too bad, to be honest. So, real quick, uh, I'll clean up, and then we'll do a pack-like overview. All right, from our 16 packs, we pulled a Tri-Blaze Accelerator, super rare, Sky Scourge Invisil, 
super rare. Rise of the Storm Monarch, super rare. Definitely the best of the three supers that we pulled. Elemental Hero Captain Gold is one of our ultra rares. Volcanic Doomfire is the other ultra rare. To be honest, I think this was, in my opinion, this was the best pull of the 16 packs. And an ultimate rare, Sky Scourge, Nor... Norolis. Yeah, Sky Scourge Norolis. So pretty cool opening. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the cards we pulled. We pulled the Doomfire, so super happy about that. Definitely gonna add him to my binder collection. And yeah, that's it for now. Hope you have a great day and a great life. Gen Z Collector out.